Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, and Goro Majima, huh? <laughs> yeah, add Kiryu-san to the mix and you've got yourself a Yakuza Hall of Fame. Yeah, maybe in the sense that we're all retired. So you're going, right? To see him, I mean? Yeah, I'm leaving now. Is that a fact? I don't know if you meant this, but, uh, you don't think you're flying solo, do you? Like that, it helped. Come on now, Kiryu-san. Someone's gotta watch your ass. Not exactly how I'd have worded it, but he's right. We're in this together. Thanks, guys. It's gonna be a long trip. Let's make sure we're ready. Ho ho! Yeah. Bring it on. Let's do it. Try to block this. You asked for it. This will be. You want to? 
I feel so heavy. Sorry to drag my feet. You picked the wrong opponent. Moving up in the world. There's more where this <laughs> came from. Excuse me, but would you happen to be Kiryu-san? We first met in Onomichi, correct? Where we dismantled the cult together, you and I. You've changed quite a bit since then. I apologize for not recognizing you right away. Sorry, but you got the wrong guy. My name's not Kiryu. What? It's not? That's... a little strange. What is? When I said I was atoning for my past sins, you believed me even though you had no reason to. You could have told me I was just all talk, considering the fact that I did time for fraud. But if you were Kiryu-san, then it makes sense why you'd trust my word. When you helped me bring down the cult in Hiroshima, you gave me the push I needed to walk the straight and narrow. I've only gotten this far thanks to you. Do you happen to remember, Kiryu-san? What you said before we went our separate ways? Again, I'm sorry, Munan Suzuki-san. You've got the wrong guy. I should go now. Wait, please, Kiryu-san! It is you, isn't it? For us to have met here of all places, it must have been divine intervention. How do I appear to you now? Do you believe I truly am atoning for my sins? If there really is a divine being out there, I'm sure he'd be lenient on a guy who faces his sins head on. <laughs> so it really is you, Kiryu-san. That's the exact same thing you said the last time we parted ways. Sorry, Munan Suzuki. This is all I can do for you right now. Good luck. Nice going. It's good to see you, Suzuki-san. Mm, thanks. All right if I stop in? No need to ask. You're always welcome here, friend. Sir, is there something on my face? Uh, no, of course not. I apologize. <laughs> Just a little joke I have. After all, there's always something on my face. Can I ask, have you been in Yokohama a long time? Well, no, I haven't kept count. Must be over a decade at this point. Huh, that is quite a while. 
One more question. Sorry. Um, do you happen to have a favorite food? Hmm. Good question. Why do you ask? Cold noodles. Any chance you're uh, partial to them? Guilty as charged. I do fancy a bowl now and again, yes. It's just... I once knew someone who preferred them as well. He was practically an older brother to me. And you bear such a striking resemblance to him. I couldn't help thinking that, maybe... Hmm. Forgive me. This isn't your concern. Nonsense, sir. So long as I'm proprietor, my customers' concerns are my own. <laughs> Makes me feel a bit better to hear that. Suzuki-san, I get the sense you've endured some hardships. Enough time spent behind a bar, you can read most by their face alone. Then tell me, bartender, what do I have on my face? You were always strong, so you never learned to ask for help. And too few know when you've been hurt. That's the impression I get, anyway. I see. <laughs> I'm joking again. That's how almost every man starts seeing himself past middle age. Especially the ones with such worn and chiseled faces. <laughs> Sounds like that must apply to you, too. Uh, before I came to own this place, I also lived in a world with no room for weakness. Mm -hmm. Forget it. It's not important. Whatever you say. Let me put it like this. I was raised believing that vulnerability was the enemy of survival. I carried that dogma with me for too long. Is it the same for you, perhaps, Suzuki-san? Are you saying your outlooks changed since then? I accept help when offered now, to one degree or another, while trying to give those around me whatever help I can. And I'm content with how things are. Maybe that's what it means to have a real home. And to do more with life than just survive it. That's an admirable point of view. You've fought so many battles and loved so many people. Maybe all that's left of you are your scars. How could anyone call this a just world when men like you can't be promised a good, proud ending? <laughs> Come on. How do you know you say that to all the guys? I'm saying it to you. Saying it as someone who's found a happiness here that I worry you never could. Again and again, you've been denied peace and rest. You've been denied something as precious as your name itself. But right now, for this one moment, you have people willing to help you if you ask them to. After all the tragic mistakes, their camaraderie is what proves you're still a noble man. Hey, uh, is it just me, or are they staring at us right now? The bartender's never usually so chatty. <laughs> Wonder what they're saying. I can't simply tell you to embrace vulnerability, but try depending on them while you can. After all, you're getting up there in years. <laughs> you're almost... Too big to be told what to do. It's uncanny. You're so much like him, bartender. My old Aniki in another life. May I say, sir, that if the day does come when you're able to take back your name, I'd like to see you then. We'll speak frankly. Neither of us will have anything left to hide. I'll pour you a drink worthy of yourself that day. On the house. Naturally. For what it's worth, I liked this drink, too. I think I should go. Thank you for the conversation, bartender. <laughs> the pleasure was mine, friend. Always happy to help. Appreciate it. So long. Now you know why it's called Survive. <laughs> Names are such powerful things. Thank <laughs> you.
Street Circuit racing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Neat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll race you to the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Really? Pocket Circuit Stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. Ah, Pocket Circuit. <laughs> Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against others on elaborate racetracks. There was a time I was the fastest Pocket Circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. I got to know the kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together. And <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in Onomichi. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires instead. They'll give you more friction on turns. Come on. Use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off! The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Purple's cool, but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already! Fighter, you suck! Let's go find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is dumb, Yasukun. Mm. Aw, just give it a little more time. It's fun. Not again. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen. Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! Ooh, sorry about that. Huh, a golem tiger. Oh? You, uh, you recognize it? Hmm. I used to race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the pocket circuit company themselves. I'm... Well, as far as Pocket Circuit goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Pleasure to meet you. So if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Whoa, that would have been the first boom period. Oh, amazing. I'd have loved to have been there to see it. Is it true how popular it was back then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. Then one day, the Kamurocha Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Ah, oh, yeah, it, it did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. The market's swelling again. On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. I'm super into it. He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. So, what made you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside, the cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually, I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. Oh, it was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I finally made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. 
Except, this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. And I just want to pass on that knowledge, teach kids the best customizations, support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really have that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby, and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. The kids loved him, huh? <sighs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the pocket circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... when I had nobody... he rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? Kazuma-kun... You're right! This whole time, I've been mistaken. Pocket Circuit might be a technical hobby, but that's not its heart. It can't be only about winning and losing. First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Ugh, no wonder the kids hate me. It's not too late, you know. Right! I'm gonna find those kids. This time, I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels! Pocket Circuit runs on love! Good. I'm sure they'll take to that lesson. Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away! Hey! Ah, that takes me back. Think I'll enjoy this. It's my turn. Oh, yeah. Try to watch this! You asked with our boarding games. This will be Follow my lead. Let's do it. Wanna play? Wait. <laughs> 
I think I'll enjoy this. Let's do it. Try you asked for it. This will be Down. 
Feels like just yesterday. Irashayose. Let's dig in. Let's see him. <sighs> Beef bowls are a man's best friend. Super extra large is the only way to go. They live up to their slogan, tasty, quick, and cheap. I've been a loyal customer for as long as I can remember. <laughs> that catchy slogan sure gets stuck in your head. It sounds simple, but succeeding at all three is a challenge. Right, and they definitely live up to it. Wish I had a slogan too. <laughs> you got an example? Mm, something like, speedy, strong, stupendous. Did you just come up with that on the spot? And why include speedy? Uh, speed on my feet? Duh. Fast runners are always popular. Uh, that's the logic of an elementary school kid. Plus, to be honest, I can't imagine you running fast to save your life, Nanchan. Yeah, I uh, won't lie, it's pretty accurate. So a no on that slogan for you. What would your Yusan slogan be? Strong, somber, sentimental. Again, what was going through your mind for the last part? Um, what do you mean by sentimental? He must mean that Kiryu-san's old school, like what kids these days call a throwback? Oh, yeah, that's totally what I meant. I get the feeling that at this point, even you don't know what you're talking about. By the way, that slogan... You know, the word order actually changed over time. So, back in the day, it was quick, tasty, and cheap, since that was the process of how you'd experience the meal. But then they started to care more about the tasty part of their reputation. Oh, wow, I had no idea. So they switch it up to reflect the times. That's pretty cool. Yep, now that's what I call sentimental. Aw, nice try, but no. ありがとう。何見てんすか well, let's get started. You're going to regret this. In for the kill! You asked for it. This will be Follow my lead. Are you done with all the fun and games yet? 
Who wants to go? Oh, yeah. What's the whole Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Oh, 
a bite. This will be tough. All right, let's finish it. Together, we only need one Naturally. shot. Bring it on. Learning more every day. me back. Ugh. How the hell did I eat so much? Mm, that was one sexy dish. Wait 
doing it big! Right. Special order! Enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Did that. No. Yeah. We have a winner. That's nostalgic. いらっしゃいませ。You aware the squid you love so much might have actually come from outer space? Uh, huh? You mean they're aliens? What the heck? Oh, I get it. It's because they look just like the Martians in those old movies and anime. Am I right? No. I'm talking a real deal scientific theory here. Their brains are pretty big compared to their bodies, and on top of that, they've got tons of nerves, most of which are gathered in their tentacles. So, it's said that each tentacle is kind of like its own computer that can operate independently of the main brain. I mean, that's nothing special. I can move my left and right arms independently. It's not a competition, you know. Squid's pretty different from anything else on Earth, so it's speculated they either came from space or evolved after coming in contact with an ancient virus from a meteorite. Crazy. Now that you mention it, I could see that. They really do seem otherworldly. I noticed you have a penchant for tall tales, Jal. Where'd you hear this one? From a magazine I was flipping through at the convenience store. Pretty neat, huh? Well, that brought me right back down to Earth. You're surprisingly gullible, Sanchan. Well, whether you believe it or not is all on you. Personally, I don't care if they're from this planet or somewhere else. As long as they taste good. <laughs> Nothing like embracing diversity. By eating extraterrestrials? Thanks for buying. That's the food. food. Arigato gozaim.
This brings back memories. Should I open it? Nice. This brings back memories. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> 